So welcome to uh, Extra Funny. Extra Funny is Extra Funny. Um, are y'all tired? Y'all yes. tired? It's been a it's been a, a heavy week. A lot of a lot of extra work and and stuff. Yep. Um, I woke up with the diarrhea this morning. Oh no! Yeah, it was bad. Uh, woke and up so, like this. Yeah, that's yeah, brutal. It it jolted me out of bed. Oh my gosh! I woke up uh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I, I can't completely say that I was, or I can't say that I was completely bummed by what I ate for breakfast because you know I was having the issues. Yeah. I had saltines for breakfast, and I absolutely love plain saltine crackers. I don't even have to have anything on. Yeah, I'm the same way. Just and they'll get it. away from you, too, because once mm-hmm. you start going down the sleeve, mm-hmm. same Ugh. thing with Ritz. I'm the same way. I would rather just have a plain Zesta saltine than a Ritz, or and probably even more so than a club cracker, too. Oh, oh yeah. I love a club cracker, though. I do, too, but I like them more with salads. Mm-hmm. Um, but just if I'm going to eat a plain cracker, just a regular old saltine. Wait, you eat those crackers that come with salads? I never eat those. So and the, I little, like, the little thin ones? Yeah, the little captain's wafers? Oh, God, It's yeah. just a little, really? little bit oh, of salt? Oh, it's so much better. I never if I eat go, those. If I go to a salad bar, yeah. I'll get a bunch of those, and I'll sit down, and I'll take a bite of salad and then a bite of that cracker. And if I could just crumble them all up on top of the salad that would be good too really i love them yeah. you, do you use it in place of a crouton type situation uh i'm not big on um store-bought croutons right i forgot what a snob <laughs> they're just i mean it's like eating rocks like garlic rocks yeah i'm not crazy about croutons mm. but the fact that you draw the line at homemaker that's just funny <laughs> i mean they're so easy to make all right so we have a lesson on the uh, women's bodies a little a little um little educational trip down um i was gonna say down the female cycle but that doesn't sound <laughs> just hang on we'll, we'll get to it next here we go extra funny so we should have our little introduction thing done either uh, tomorrow or the next day the big voice guy saying it's extra funny you know yeah all that but you know this is the way a lot of podcasts just i mean they're not they're not highly produced like no. radio shows are so no we don't even need it you don't think so no i wish we could play something really funky though like a womp, womp. Some, some sort of a some sort of a calvin harris project or something <laughs> really get this party started but we can't because it's copyrights yeah can't play music of any kind i don't think uh unless it's something we pay a subscription to like this music we just played oh somebody yeah. made that yeah Mm-hmm. you can tell we bought it on a budget yeah well <laughs> somebody's kid <laughs> with an ipad a casio and an ipad um we were just talking about on the uh, regular old show that um, the first movie that featured the word vagina was a Disney movie. It was an educational film they released in 1946, and it was called The Story of... Now, how do y'all pronounce what uh, women's bodies go through that starts with an M? Menopause. No, no, no. Monthly goes through monthly. Oh. Oh. It starts with an M. Oh, Menzies? Yeah, how do you pronounce the whole, like the real word, the whole word? Men, menstruation. Men, uh, what do you call it? Menstruation. Menstruation. Mm-hmm. But how do you pronounce it when you say it? Is what I'm saying. I've ne- I, I, know, I know how to pronounce it. I'm saying how do you? How do I y'all probably pronounce? say menstruation. Yeah. Menstruation. Menstruation. Mm-hmm. It's an either or. It's a menstruation or menstruation. Either oh, one. Is, okay. Either one is acceptable. I should know that. I say it all the time. <laughs> I know, and that's the thing. Men don't. <laughs> yeah, like, how do I say it? I, I think that was the first time I've ever said it. <laughs> it's very likely that it was for yeah, me. Because, because now we do, we would say Menzies just to be, you know, where we don't have to say menstruation. <laughs> you did throw me off though with the M. I thought it was menopause too. I was like, how, how else would you say mm-hmm. that? M. <laughs> Manopause. <laughs> menopause. Men- menopause. <laughs> I still don't know what a monostat is. What's a monostat three? 
Um, is that a pregnancy test? It's not a stat seven. It's a um, it's a yeast um, infection medication. Okay, that was going to be my first guess before I said Menzies. I was like, monostat. <laughs> Apparently the, the number oh, guy, I got to give, Hey, look, today is not the day I'm going through monostat right now. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> is that, what are the other numbers for monostat? I, I never knew that there were seven. I've only heard of four, like five, I think. Right. No, I thought the product was called monostat seven. I'm not sure though. There's three, three. And there's a monostat one too. That's for your butt. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a yeast infection medication, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's monostat awesome. seven is yes. Mm. Yeast infection. Ooh. Oh, they're all for those. It's just yeah. one is a one day treatment, one is a three day treatment, and one is a seven day treatment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. So if it's real bad. <laughs> yeah. So I'm seven guessing days. that the monostat one is a prescription, maybe. I don't it's, know. It's the maximum strength. It is not a yeah. prescription. No. It's just dr dropping a nuclear bomb <laughs> in your, <laughs> just like, in your, <laughs> in your <laughs> vision. <laughs> yeah. You got to, you know, everybody's got to evacuate. <laughs> It's like, it's like a roach bomb. Yeah, fum fumigating <laughs> your house. Uh, that's uh, odd. That's uh, that sucks. Women got to deal with some hell crazy yeah. shit. Bless mm -hmm. them. Bless them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's their own damn fault, right? Yep, it's Eve's fault. They're their number one soul sister. <laughs> <laughs> if you track it back. <laughs> she ate that fault. apple and the Lord said, uh, 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 Menzies for everybody. <laughs> Here on out. <laughs> Labor pains, Menzies, all of it. You get it all. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, he's like, um, and Adam, you're going to have Oof. to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Because you left and, and allowed her to eat of the uh, apple. So now, Adam, she's going to be crazy acting part of the time and going to be in pain and irritable and all these other things. And then you're going to have to deal with it. Good luck. Good luck, I brother. bet you next time you'll listen to me, won't you? you listen to your daddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You let a damn snake talk to you, talk to you into this? Yeah. Mm. I like God has this thick southern accent. <laughs> Do you picture God having a southern accent? No. When, when you hear God's voice in your head, like, no. he doesn't have an accent, why not? Mm. Because I, I I picture him his not having an accent one way or the other, really, just like a, a big um, voice announcer, yeah, booming, okay. you know, it's like, like a big voice. Mm -hmm. Hey, DJ, right. I said, do not <laughs> eat of the apple. Yeah, I think I agree. I, think I gave you one thing. rule. Yeah, yeah. kind of like a um, not always sounding like a big announcer but always having that type of like you remember bill curtis's voice the bill curtis from american justice yeah Hi, yeah bill curtis. i'm bill curtis and he was in anchorman and he mm -hmm. said ron jeremy is the balls well when he's talking <laughs> his regular voice he's just got that deep clear mm -hmm. perfect voice perfect you diction you can feel it in your plums yeah, I, I don't picture uh, the Lord using incorrect grammar. No, probably not. Mm -hmm. You would pick it apart, though. Like, thanks for reaching out, God, yeah. but it's actually there. <laughs> it's actually have not. You didn't say whom? Yeah. yeah. We don't, um, even if you're God, we don't end sentences and prepositions. <laughs> Do you ever hear it as a woman? Can you picture God? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> Almost got you with that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think you even remotely got it. And if I were single and I met a woman to date or possibly marry, and she told me that she heard his voice as a woman, Oof. then we'd no longer have a future. Yeah, you think? Because mm -hmm. the Bible says it's it's not a woman, <laughs> and Bible even says that women shouldn't be preachers. He's called the Father, mm -hmm. so right, right, right. yeah. And huh, we don't even want to get into whether or not he thinks that fathers can be mothers too, because he don't. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say I send you um, my non-binary offspring to save your soul. Ooh, I'm glad this is extra funny. <laughs> Well, he didn't. Those are facts. How you going to argue no, with those no, facts? You're not wrong. I didn't say, you know, 
harm anybody or anything. But when we're talking about redneck things and how, you know, if God sounded like a redneck, you know, I was thinking uh, today that one of the um, most old school redneck ways to describe a woman, I used to hear old men say all the time when I was growing up. So if you see, a, oh, you know who I'm talking about? Oh, big titted girl. Oh, what? <laughs> What? Oh, big titted girl. Would really? have, if they couldn't think of somebody's name and she had she had um, large breasts, they would call her old big titted girl. Oh, big titty girl. <laughs> and and it was kind of well like, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Not necessarily. Yeah. It's just like that's the way to describe them. You know, it'd be like saying, you know, brown haired girl. I mean, mm-hmm. what brown hair? Well, that's too generic. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, big titty. But then they may expand on it. And go, you know, old big titty girl rides around on the horse all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It at least yeah. does eliminate some possibilities. So it does narrow it down for you, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had an interesting experience at the gas station the other day. I was walking up to get beer, and I'm standing in line, and there are two old guys, like older guys, that clearly didn't have shit to do that day, mm-hmm. standing on either side of the register. And they're talking over customers, like, and just kind of recounting their day. <laughs> and I'm like, here we go. Like, you know you're going to be somehow... <laughs> the butt of the joke or something like between these old guys that are, you know, got their elbows up on the counter and just surveying everybody that comes in. I'm like, y'all go to one side or the other. I don't want. And luckily they didn't, uh, they didn't bother me, but <laughs> we're gonna get, well, they said getting the party started early. Cause I had beer and it was yeah. like, you know, early. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Look at this uh, son of a bitch. Yeah. Trying exactly. to drink at 12 in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Did I throw you off the other day when I drank two of your beers, Riggins? No, I know you. Um, no, please. But you get in your routines and stuff, and I don't want to there's throw a, you out of that. There's a constant <laughs> flow. I know, but if you had to stop at the store like one day before you normally have to get beer, no, no. Like if you had taken my last two beers, that would my, that would have yeah. been a different story. But no, you know, oh, I would have never. No, you wouldn't have done that. Mm-mm. But I also wasn't planning on drinking that early. <laughs> so I said, all right. Well, I guess mm. I'll just keep the party rolling. <laughs> Hell yeah, Come brother! Lunchtime, lunchtime beer. I like a lunchtime beer. I do too. I like an anytime beer usually. I don't really? drink it in the morning. So, I, yeah, like we're on vacation and stuff. Yeah, um, right. um, handsome husband Michael will start drinking beer at like eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. Well, know, yeah. I mean, I don't care. I can't do that. Me either. I cannot. There's, yeah. a, there's a new country song out called "Beer for Breakfast." Beer for breakfast. <laughs> Sounds great. Is it? Who does that? Zach Top. Oh. He's, he's, a, he's a new up and coming star. Everybody named Zach in country music now. That's true. Zach Brown, Zach Bryan. Which, by the way, Zach Bryan is too close to Zach Brown. I agree. Zach Brown. <laughs> Especially if you put a little Southern accent on it, you know? Mm-hmm. Brian, Brian. So, what did he do the other day? And then he, he came out and apologized and Zach groveled. Brown? And oh, no, Zach, Zach Brian. Brian. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I remember. Did that. he say something about Taylor Swift or something? And then he yep. had to come back and just. Well, he didn't have to. He just well, chose to. Well, they were they were torching him online. Yeah, he, so what? he came back on his hands, like on his belly, yeah. Apollo, groveling over like three Instagram. What he had posted, it, it was after the Chiefs and Eagles game. And he said, Eagles are better than the Chiefs. Yay is better than uh, Taylor Swift. Mm. And he said uh, he was drunk. <laughs> he said he was drunk and got on Twitter, and but people were just ripping him. Like, how could you do this? She's a fellow country star. And he's like, Oh, so much she's done so much for the genre and she's an incredible person and a, the most talented musician of our generation and i'm so sorry and i would oh, never God. want to say anything and i mean it was going on and on and on like at paragraphs yeah and i'm sure that did a lot of good they they probably every one of them went oh okay well no no harm no foul yeah because i mean once you start apologizing and stuff like that you're just putting blood in the water mm-hmm. i mean but the Swifties are intense, man. She hasn't been and hasn't wanted to be part of country music in years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, didn't she actually say, I'm embarrassed to be, you know, involved in that backwards oh, stuff? I haven't, I haven't heard that. Was it her that said that? Maybe it was one of, the, one of those other. But, uh, yeah, she's no, <laughs> what do you call it, um, ambassador for country music? Yeah. She hadn't done country music in 10 years or more. Oh, shit. She's she's almost 40, isn't she? No. She's probably 32, 33. Hmm. 
No, no maybe 34. Taylor Swift? Yeah. yeah. 34, yep. Yeah. She'll well, be 35 this year. Might as well be 40. Is that <laughs> how that <laughs> works, Rob? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he says the proper A, he can't leave it alone. He can't, can't. just stop with, she's 34. I don't know what's wrong with me. Or I'm 37. <laughs> I'll be 38 this year. Okay. Uh, well, we yeah. know how the shit works. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I totally missed that. You know, You're right, he because I, I finally got him off of saying I'll be when somebody yeah. says, how old are you? <laughs> I'll be 37 next year. Yeah. Okay. So you're 36. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to look at it that way, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but still yeah. he just can't say it. It's yeah. just, he's got to follow it up with something else. <laughs> I mean, now <laughs> if it was some sort of a crazy, uh, kind of phenomenon where, you know, he's still a Taylor Swift is 34. She'll be uh, 37 next year. Yeah. With Maybe. leap year and all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> then that would make sense. But it's like Monica that used to work for us. Uh, she would always be, I just turned whatever it was, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just turned 32. Well, when's your birthday? Uh, in three weeks. <laughs> okay, well, you're, you're almost 33. <laughs> I just turned 32. Huh? <laughs> but I always thought it was um, it was bullshit when old old men would say, "I don't even remember how old. how old am I." And they'd ask their wife, mm -hmm. "How old am I?" I used to think that was crazy, but and I, I found myself doing it. I, I do it all the time. I'm like, "Am I 36? No, mm -hmm. 37." Yeah, I'm the double nickel. You are. I just made 55 last. Two, wait, no. No, it's not October yet. I made made fifty five a couple weeks ago. Mm hmm. And that's, that's another thing country people say. Somebody made whatever their age he made is. Made it. Yeah, he made thirty one last year. Yeah. That means he's almost thirty two. He'll be thirty two <laughs> this year. He'll make thirty two. <laughs> so how old are you? you're thir you're thirty eight now, mm -hmm. Rob? Okay. I'll be I'll be forty next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, be seventy five. <laughs> In, in two shakes of a lamb's tail, <laughs> before you know it. <laughs> That's how time works. <laughs> but anyway, Taylor Swift hates country music. I'll go ahead and say it. She hates country music and hates everybody associated with it. That's what we started out talking about, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. In my humble opinion, she does. Yeah. So take that. Pick up your purse and go home, Zach Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know anything about him personally, so he may be able to kick my ass, but cause I he figure he's a lot younger than I am. He does look a little rough and tumble, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Not now. Not, not, not groveling at Taylor Swift's feet. On an Instagram story. Yeah, She's like, oh, please. Now, man. God. I'm so, I respect her so much as a musician. The last thing I want is people thinking I don't appreciate and love that she's done for music. Okay, that's the last of it. It's like, ugh. Ugh. They must have wanted his head on a stake. Yeah. Let him have it. It'll be an outlaw, man. Yeah. Be an outlaw. Oh, look at this. We got to go. We're way over the time here. That means we've been having fun. Giving people okay. extra. Yeah. All right, so we'll talk to you tomorrow.